Each week, American Artifacts takes you to historic sites and museums. Up next, we travel to Silicon Valley to learn about the history of computers. This is one of a two-part look at the exhibit Revolution, the first 2,000 years of computing. What we're looking at now is a small part of a giant military communication system known as SAGE, the Semi-Automatic Ground Environment System that was completed in the late 50s and early 60s. Basically, the United States built this system, the Air Force uh, paid for it and IBM and Western Electric built it, that created a radar shield over the country. So all of the United States' radar systems were connected into this one computer system. In fact, it was a distributed computer system. There were uh, several, um, over 20 of these computers spread out over the United States, each of which was searching the airspace in the United States for evidence of incoming Soviet bomber attack. That was the main threat it was geared to counter. SAGE did some remarkable things. Um, it perhaps didn't work exactly as planned because mainly uh, when it was finished, ballistic missiles had become the new threat and this system could not possibly keep up with ballistic missile, which is much faster than a plane or a bomber. So a lot of technical milestones occurred in this system uh, that went on to really influence the industry and trained a generation of programmers. In fact, there was one estimate as high as 60% of the nation's programmers were working on this one system at one time. You are listening to the heartbeat of the SAGE computer. Every instrument in this room is constantly monitoring, testing, pulse taking, controlling. For this is the programming and operations center for the SAGE computer which surrounds it. To it come continuous streams of data which it continuously absorbs and stores. The, the government in uh has played a very critical role in the early stages of computing. If it weren't for uh, government funding, uh, ENIAC, for example, wouldn't have occurred. Uh, Whirlwind would not have occurred. Uh, that was an earlier computer at MIT on which SAGE was based. SAGE would not have occurred. Uh, the ARPANET, and hence the internet, would not have occurred. Um, a lot of great things have been started and, and supported by government investment and government is particularly good at funding long-term research where, where a financial or commercial product is not immediately uh, the result, but the underlying research has gigantic repercussions, and I, I think the ARPANET is one of the, the classic examples of that. Um, it was met with complete scorn when they first proposed it um, from companies, from, the, from most of the government. They had no, no idea why anyone would want to communicate with someone via a computer. And of course today uh, it would be impossible to even think of our modern day culture without something as simple as email, for example. ARPANET stands for the, uh, the agency, ARPA, the Advanced Research Projects Agency of the United States Department of Defense. And the ARPANET was a network that basically connected government funded researchers together so they could share information and, uh, and collaborate on projects that they were working on. This American Artifacts program was one of a two-part look at the exhibit Revolution, the first 2,000 years of computing. You can view this and all American History TV programs at our website, cspan.org history.